Hi, I'm Gloria, one of the Youth Services Librarians at North Riverside Public Library. It's a beautiful day today. I'm home in my backyard. I'm listening to the birds sing and the leaves rustle in the trees. It's quiet, except for the lawnmower every once in a while. Uh, it's something we just have to put up with, I guess. But I'm thinking about nature, and nature is very predictable. Uh, we have fall now. We have colder days and shorter days. And it will be followed by winter, which will have snow probably. And then will come spring and rain. And we might have some floods, but we don't really know. But one thing we do know for sure, winter follows fall, spring follows winter, summer follows spring, and then we have fall again every single year. It's a certainty. Fall is an active time of year. The animals are out and they're scurrying around trying to get more food and hide food for the winter. The plants and the trees are settling down for the winter. They're turning brown and trees are dropping their leaves. They're trying to conserve the energy in their core and their roots to survive the long winter ahead. Spiders are busy too. If we're outside in our backyard or if we're walking in the woods or just walking around, we can see lots of webs. Most of the time, they are roundish webs like this, which is called an orb. This part of the country, we have a lot of garden spiders, and they make orb webs. They're sticky, and they catch the prey, the small bugs and insects, flies, for the spider to come and eat later on. And we see a lot of these in the fall. They're very busy. Most of the spiders we see are common garden spiders. We do have a spider that is not too pleasant. His bite can be very painful and nasty. And it, at times, it, it could be fatal, but not very often if we get treatment. Uh, so you can tell this, it's called a brown recluse. And you can tell him by the violin shape on his head here. And you probably won't see him because he's called a recluse because he stays away from people. He's in the dark cellar, he's by the pipes, he's in the corners or the cracks of the crawl space. He tries to stay away from people. Now he's not nearly this size. He's no bigger than this, probably smaller than this. Hard to see and hard to find, but not a pleasant spider. In other parts of the country, they have black widow spiders. And they are black like this with a red hourglass shape on their back. These are found more out west. They also have unpleasant bites, but uh, we don't have to worry about them. They're not here. We're very fortunate that we don't have this spider, which is called the Goliath. And he's very large and very ugly. His sting, his bite, is no more painful than that of a wasp, which is not pleasant, but is not terribly painful. He's so big and ugly, though. He's in the rainforests of South America, and so we don't have him here. We're very lucky in that. A lot of our spiders are house spiders. They don't even live outside. The ones you see in the house in the corners of maybe high corners of your ceil by your ceiling those are house spiders, and they don't come outside. They don't come in from outside. They live in the house year-round. You don't see them, and they're pretty good. If, you, if you're not scared of them and you don't mind them being in your house, they actually will eat smaller bugs, and they're not bad to have around. But a lot of people don't like spiders anyway. So they kill them, which is not a good thing to do, but we don't like spiders too much. Today, I'm going to make a web in honor of fall. And this is a very simple web to do. And you can use it outside or inside for a decoration. Uh, you can make it for Halloween or and you could put orange and purple on it, make it kind of Halloweenish, or you can make it like this and hang it outside or inside now. I used sticks and string or yarn. I used yarn. So first of all, you have to find four sticks that are about the same size. So my sticks were like about this size, four about the same. 
and you put them together in a cross like this and you're going to tie them with your, your string or yarn round and round like this and it's pretty secure once you do that then you're going to do the same thing to your other two sticks like this and then you're going to put them together so they form your orb like this now this is really the trickiest part because until you wrap it a few times it's going to be unstable but you're just going to wrap the string around all four of your of your sticks and the more you wrap it the sturdier it'll be so you're going to wrap with this and then you're going to go around in a circle starting at the center and wrap each stick individually with the yarn this one round and round And this one. And this one. When you finish the first round, you'll notice it's very stable. It, it won't flop around so much. Okay, so that's the first round. And then you're going to go further out with each time around like that, all the way out until you get to the ends. And then you're going to have your orb spider web. Now, what is a spider web without a spider? Today I'm going to make a small spider, a small black spider, because it will be kind of for Halloween. I had two pipe cleaners and a scissors, and I cut four strips of the pipe cleaner like this. These are going to be the legs. Now, it's not four legs. The spider has eight legs. So each of this, these pieces is going to be two legs. I'll show you what I mean. You put them in the center, cross them in the center like this, and twist a few of them around. You don't have to twist them all, but just enough so that they stay together. Pipe cleaners are wondrous things. They will stay in a lot of different shapes. Okay, so my spider is staying together. And then I'm going to twist his legs a little bit to make him look like he's about ready to crawl or run or something like that. And I'm going to twist him around. And there I have my spider, my black spider. I can make him fancy if I want to, but I'm not going to today. But I'm going to put him in my web like this. And I have a little loop on the top, and I can hang him back like that. Put him back on my tree. Oops, the spider fell off. That's all right. So you can also make a bigger spider like this. I the pipe cleaner is a little longer, and I have pom poms for the segments, and I can put them together like this with a little bit of glue, and I can have a little bit of a bigger spider. Oh! Well, I wasn't expecting that, um, but I am outside, and spiders live outside, and so I'm sort of in their territory, so I guess I can't be too surprised by it. Um, but getting back to my spider here, uh, I used a little bit of glue on the pom-poms, and I put them together to make the segments. I wanted to tell you that the spider is not an insect, he's a spider. An insect has six legs, a spider always has eight legs. A spider always has two parts to his body, two segments, an insect will have three. And a spider usually has eight eyes, so I don't know how many an insect has, I think it's fewer. But there's a big difference, so don't call a spider an insect, he's a spider. I hope you enjoy the craft, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, have fun with it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.